even in used condition, this is still going for like a hundred bucks and they're asking 25. This is the last day. There's the last few hours and it says all disc games, not in case, logo, buy one, get one. My goal was to pay for this entire trip and to try to make profit. And I think that we have more than done that. What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. And we are at day, day, day two of Siege, which is Southeast Game Exchange. And we're here trying to buy video games, toys, electronics, anything we can buy to resell on Amazon here and make money. And that's what we're doing here today. So it's approximately 1.07. We got here late because I went to a flea market and lost some money, got that money back. But anyways, getting here late, not a lot of time left. There's about three hours left at the con. So I'm gonna try to do a speed run, see what we can buy to resell and make money online. If you wanna see part one of uh, part one and two of the Siege videos, go ahead and check out these links up here. And uh, yeah, let's run in there and see what we can find. We got cosplayers over here. Oh, costumes are awesome. We got uh, Yoshi, Princess Peach. Uh, your, your costumes are awesome, guys. Very good, very good. Amy and Corbin are over there trying to clean up. This guy gave us the magic words. He said, I do not want to take anything home. So they are pulling out the cash. They're going to try and buy everything it looks like. So I'm going to look around and see if I can't find anything. They got some Power Ranger stuff over here. It might be worth picking up. The Titanus might be a good deal. But this right here, check this out. This is 25 bucks and this goes for like 90 on Amazon. So we know at least we're going to get this. So we're going to look at those other books too. See if you can find it. I was scanning through this bin. He's got $3 each or four for 10 and he's cool with me going through this. So just to kind of show you, this game right here is going for 21 on Amazon. It's a little beat up, but that's okay. This one's going for like 20 on Amazon. Uh, so for three bucks, that's a good deal. This one was kind of a sleeper hit. I was kind of surprised about this. Whoa, as I dropped it. This one right here, check this out. This is F1 Formula Championship Edition. And let's pull it up. So the used FDA is going for like 18. So for three bucks, that's a good pickup right there. Also, we've got this little stack of games that we're going to talk to him about. So get this little toad. I think he said he'll do like half off. So let's say that's going to be three bucks. This one right here for 10. Uh, if he comes down to five, that'd be good. We're starting at this one's 15. Hope, or yeah, hopefully come down to 15. That's pretty good. Yeah, this one right here. So it's like 35. If he does half off, that would be worth, worth it. Um, this one right here is kind of the uh, kind of the winner. So I'm very excited about this too. So we'll see how much we can get this for. Wait, what was your name? Ricky. Ricky, I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So is your last name Bobby? Uh, oh man, uh, Bobby. Got to have two first names. That's right. If you ain't first, you're last. You know? You know what I'm talking about that phrase, trademark, not to be used outside tradition. Ricky Bobby. Ain't. All right, so so the top three came out of the three dollar bin, okay, and then the rest of them I've just been picking. So you you tell me where, where we're at. Ricky was letting me go through his booth. He was saying maybe maybe like half off on everything. So he's gonna double check the math. We'll see what we can do. One sixteen. Total is what it's at. Okay. Fifty bucks for all of it. All right, sounds good, Ricky. Appreciate you. Let's get you that fifty bucks. I I just turned it on. Now you can say goodbye. Yeah, we used to sound like a 20 minute conversation, but they're leaving and Rick is standing here hanging out. I'm not, I have many more videos to do. He's always, got, yeah, so he's he's working too, but you guys are leaving. It was a pleasure meeting you. Have a safe yeah, trip. So, and check out Boy Meets World podcast that he's yeah, a big fan I'm of. Sponsored by Pod Meets World, right? Podcast. Right. So, real quick, you said, I, I'm sorry, I just walked up and started looking. You said everything's negotiable, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. So just like for an example, what would you do on an amiibo like this? Right 30 on it? Okay, that's fair, that's fair. I'm gonna like look. Bundling too, so we like bundling We like bundling, okay, so the bigger the bundle, hopefully the better the deal. Yeah. All right, you got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna scan and see what I can get. So, so just for an example, at 30 bucks, this would be like a $32 profit. So that would be a good pickup right there. So here's another one right here. Captain Falcon, 25 bucks on Amazon is going for 88. See, it's going for 88.95. So 25 bucks, that would definitely be a good pickup. 25. Your $43 profit just for this one item. So 
we're gonna keep working. So far, I've got these four amoebas that I'm gonna ask about. These are all brand new and sealed. This one is a little beat up. This one has this corner a little beat up, but even in used condition, this is still going for like a hundred bucks and they're asking 25. So these will all be a really good deal. I'm gonna try to see if they'll come down on the price on this one. And then I'm gonna ask if I can scan these video games over here because I haven't had a chance to check these ones out yet. But it looks like there's some high value titles. You might be able to find something good. Just let me kind of go through all of these right here. And I found this Road Rash game because I remember playing Road Rash when I was younger. But this is on the 3DO, but it's way cool. It's this long box and you open it up and there's the game and then there's the soundtrack too. But if you ever play Road Rash, this is an amazing game. But I am gonna ask about this right here for my personal collection because I don't have this. So this looks like a pretty clean copy. And then we're gonna ask about those Amiibos too. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for them to come back and then we'll see what we can do. Shane is uh, doing some math here. He's going to try to work me a deal, see what we come up with. Well, I'm, I'm a CPA, so I should be good at this. So you got 25 and 25 is 50. 135 and 85. It's 50. I'm sleep It's like 220. There we go. There we go. So. I, I don't really need this. I, I want these. I don't really need this. So I was going to see if you come down a little. So you're 220 for all this stuff. Would you do like... Oh, here, this guy too. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 245. Would you do like 180? 200? That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. That sounds good. All right, ladies and gents, let's run through the stuff that I just picked up. I'm sorry, it's super loud. This was 25 bucks. This is on Amazon for like 90. So for 25 bucks, that was a really good deal. I got more Amiibos to add to the Amiibos that I got yesterday. This link right here was 35 and it's selling for like 85 on Amazon. Sonic the Hedgehog, he was asking 50. It looks like it's selling for 93 on Amazon right here. We also got Captain Falcon right here. And this is 25 and on Amazon it's selling for like 89, which is pretty awesome. We also got this Shulk right here. Although the box is a little damaged, it's still really good for 25 bucks. And I got all of this stuff right here. I talked him down to about 200 bucks for all this stuff. So I'm really happy with that. That includes a personal buy. This is a personal buy for my personal collection. Super Mario 3, this is like complete in the box, which I probably should have checked. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited. This will go in my collection area in my office. So thank you so much for all of this stuff. For 200 bucks, that was an awesome deal. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, hit that thumbs up button for me. I haven't been finding a ton of games, but I've been finding like Amiibos for like really good prices. So I think I'm just gonna keep looking for these. These are easy money. Slap a sticker on them, send them into Amazon. It's perfect. have some uh, video game tournaments or something set up over here, or just some random games. So I'm hanging out over here looking to see what they've got. So they've got a bunch of different games. And the cool thing is they said all of these games other than these ones over here and the Switch games, everything else is buy one, get one free because they don't want to take stuff home. So I'm going to look through all of these games here and see if we can't find anything. I buy one, get one. It seems like a hell of a deal. So going to see what we can do here. We've got a nice stack of PS5 and PS4 games. And these are going to be buy one, get one free on the price over here. So this is going to be like 37 bucks. This one is going to be like nine bucks right here for brand new Burnout Paradise. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales is normally 24, but it's going to be 12. So even in used condition, these are still going to be really good deals. This one is going to be another 12, so that's a good deal. Gran Turismo. So yeah, so they're doing buy one, get one free. On all the, look at, this is amazing. Right here. These are the ones that I'm not getting over here. And as I'm standing here scanning, this gentleman over here in this green hat showed up and he is also scanning and looking for buy one, get one free deals. He was kind of like, what? That's an awesome deal. So so Caleb's over here looking for good deals too. So I'm not really sure what he's working on over there. So I won't interrupt him. Buy one, get one. But you said the highest one takes out a lower one. Yes. Okay. So like this would cover a $20 game is yes. what you're saying? Okay. See, I was thinking, I was trying to match them up as close as I could at price. 
So like the this you know this one would take out that because that's as close as it could on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand because because I could like just like, hey, do you mind if I that do would be that would be more fifty percent off right. sale. So it would yeah. be a different kind of thing. Okay. So a buy one get one free is like if you buy a hundred dollar game and there's a fifty dollar game you want, you get the fifty dollar game for free. Okay. If there's a hundred dollar game you want, you get the hundred dollar game for free. But if okay. there's four games, it changes. Okay. Well. Um, I mean, we can go back through it. No, it's, it's it's okay. So so what what I'm thinking is, um, if we just like if I just did it like separately, like if I just bought these two, it would be buy one get one. Right? Yeah. So I mean, if I just yeah, wanted to buy these all separately, could we just do it like that? Because I think it's gonna I think it's just gonna be cheaper that way. Oh, it's definitely gonna be cheaper that way, but it's also gonna be. I mean, our margins are pretty close anyways. So I, I couldn't. I probably couldn't do 50 percent all totally. If you wanted to do multiple transactions, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I'll... You'd, I'll, get, you'd get killed with fees that way. Um, Unless you're doing straight cash. cash. Yeah. I could probably just do that. What if instead I did, like I did with Alien Hominoid, just did 40% flat? Okay. Um, that would probably be closer to what I'm trying to get. Because, yeah. like, when I was doing the math, I'm like, okay, like... So the way if, you were doing it is 50% off. Right. Because if, if it's, like, 50, I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. But if it's any higher than that, it's like, eh, it's kind of so sketch. Like, I, would, just, I, I mean, just, just for me, not, yeah. not you, yeah, obviously. Yeah, for sure. I would, I would, if you were going to do it like that, then I would just do it like I did Alien <laughs> and just do 40. Okay, so I guess, <laughs> yeah, let's just figure that okay, out. Okay, I can do that. So you get 255. Okay. Okay. So that saves you about 50, 60 bucks. Okay. That sounds good. I can do that. What's going on guys? So I decided to do a little recap for you. So I finally stepped away from the convention so I could take some time to go through everything with you. I know some of the footage was super loud, so I might have to do some voiceover. So I'm sorry about that. But let's go through the last things that I just purchased. Let's talk about everything as a whole and talk about the convention just kind of in general. So this very last purchase that I should have shown you guys, I got all of these games right here they were listed as buy one get one free they were listed as bogo if they were not a uh, cartridge so any disc was buy one get one free and then what the guys had done is they had marked the prices down actually down to these prices here so the prices were even better so just for example this is a brand new ps5 game and this is 70 bucks they had it marked for 70 bucks but then they put a orange sticker on here for 44 dollars, making it buy one get one so in my mind i was thinking this was a $22 game. So buy one, get one on 44 bucks would have been $22, which in my mind made sense to me. Now I would have had to link up values that were very similar, like a $44 game and a $45 game would kind of cancel each other out. One uh, would be slightly higher than the other, but they would cancel each other out. Now what the guy did when he was checking me out, which um, I don't agree with and I don't think was the right thing to do is what he did was he took the highest value game and then he matched it up with the lowest value game. So for example, this game right here was $73 right here. And what he did as a buy one get one, this one was $73. So he took this one right here for $18.99 and gave me this one as the free one, which, you know, I'm not trying to complain, but that's not what a buy one, get one is to me. Because in my mind, a buy one, get one is very close to like a 50% off. And the way he was doing it, he was taking the highest value games and then matching them up with the lowest value games, which didn't really make sense to me. So uh, I did kind of explain that. I said, hey man, this doesn't make sense to me. Um, what, what can you do for me? And he said, how about we just do 40% off everything? And I just agreed to it. I didn't feel like, you know, arguing about the, the minutia of the prices and all that. I'm already getting really good deals. I'm not trying to complain, but at the same time, if you have something marked a certain way, at least honor the prices that you have it marked. Instead of the buy one, get one free, instead of the 50% off, I got pretty much just 40% off everything, which because of his math, that actually saved me some more money. What? A lot of these games are brand new. That's brand new. This was kind of an interesting game. This game, was marked 60 and then half off or 40 percent off i guess it's disc only but on amazon there's only like one seller on the listing and it's like really high it's like 150 bucks so i don't know if that's going to sell for that i mean heck even if it sold for like 100 bucks i would still be pretty happy so anyways let's continue running through the games we got spider-man miles morales those are in used condition but still they were 40 percent off this was 40 percent off gran turismo 7 the show and call of duty vanguard 
you know, and this is normally a $65 game and he marked it down to 33 and then 40% off. So overall, I feel like it did pretty good. I ended up using a credit card on that. And normally I try to use cash because they sometimes give you a better discount if you use cash. For conventions like this, I do try to make sure I bring lots of cash just to do these kinds of transactions. So looking at the time, it's about two o'clock right now and the convention ends at four. I've bought quite a bit of stuff today. I bought quite a bit of stuff yesterday. My goal was to pay for this entire trip and to try to make profit. And I think that we have more than done that. This was my first buy of the day. This was my second buy of the day with these Amiibos down here, which I'm really excited about. The Amiibos were cool. And then we got the uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Overall, I've had an awesome time at this convention. Uh, this is a two day convention. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of walking around, talking to people and stuff like that. So overall, I think I've done really well here. I might try to do a wrap up in another video and talk about everything that I bought. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you to Siege for having me. Thank you to Amy and Corbin who invited me. Thank you to Caleb Phoenix Resale who helped me with tons of stuff. Thanks for uh, uh, Retro Rick for chatting with me and, and giving me tips and stuff like that. He's, he's a fun guy to talk to you, super nice. Thank you to everyone that I met this weekend. Next time I'll try to be more prepared with uh, another a battery or a charger or something to keep my power going. But overall, it was a great trip. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Just kind of a mix up, just kind of doing something different than my normal like retail arbitrage, all that stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do me a favor and leave me a comment below. If you want more videos like this, I would really appreciate it because I just want the feedback. You know, I only want to make videos you guys want to watch. So hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you had a good time. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.